What's up guys? This is P. Kumar. I am really excited. Today I got these shoes in the mail and um, I'll tell you off the bat, you already know, these are the Nike Roshi Run FB. I believe that they are going to be uh, a quick strike or perhaps a general release. I don't know. I saw them on Nice Kicks or Kicks on Fire or one of those websites and they were, this is the Yeezy inspired ones, and I saw them and I had to have them. Quickly went online, went on eBay, and I fell in love with them. And I needed them, and um, unfortunately I paid a little bit more than I should have. I paid $175 shipped, but these are the types of shoes that I just think that are worth it. Um, I'm a big fan of the Roshis. I got the OG pair last late last summer in 2012 and I just was obsessed with the entire concept of the shoe and the entire idea of everything that went into the shoe, how it was a minimalist design and how um, it was it was based on just like a, a zen master and how it's supposed to be peaceful. So anyway, let me get to this and let's take a look at them. This will be an unboxing because I literally just got them in the mail today and uh, really excited. Fantastic shipping all the way from California. I ordered them two days ago and I got them. Alright, these came from those chic shoes, chic shop out in uh, California. So I guess I know that's a popular spot for a lot of guys to get their shoes. So I feel like a sucker when I see how much a guy paid for them. He paid $70, so he made $100 on me. As you can tell, they are the Nike Roshi Run FB. The color is black, pink flash, fresh mint. Um, 70 bucks, size 13. Basic Nike box, we'll probably keep this. And uh, let's take a look at them. Yeah, I feel, well, I paid $76. And just looking at them, just really, really like them. Um, look at them. As you can see, they are pretty crazy. Um, that mint just pops like no other. Um, really cool looking shoe, and uh, love the color. Love this. Love that pink. Love that mint green bottom. Um, I'm not a big fan of black shoes because I feel like they are, uh, they just look weird on my feet, but I think I'm going to make an exception with these. Let's see if we can, you can see like the, that weird pattern on the, uh, the guard here, up here, just looks great. And I love the little design of the, uh, I guess that would be a cheetah print on the, uh, on the swoosh gray lining. Didn't say anything back here. Just very pretty. Um, I'll uh, I'll take some. I'll take a video of how they look on feet. But overall, a very nice shoe. Just really like the way they look. And uh, yeah, this is them. Very simple, extremely comfortable shoe. Um, I think they'll look great. Rock them in the summertime. Well, I bought two pairs because I got another pair for 130 Really, just love the way these look. Um, tell me what you guys think about them. Um, I'll just open the blind so you get some natural sunlight. See what they look like then. Yeah, faded out. Not too good. But uh, really pretty. Simple. I think that texture is really what got me because they look really good in the right light. I think that's a good angle. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Easy to inspired. I would have preferred if the uh, the lining were pink. That would make it, I think, pretty nice. But I guess maybe that would have made them a little too... Uh, would have made them a little too feminine, perhaps. The gray looks good. Uh, what do you guys think of a lace swap, maybe? Maybe a pink lace swap? Um, yeah, I'll take some videos of how they look on feet. I don't really wear... I wouldn't wear these shoes with shorts, but... Um, I'll just take them with my, uh, I usually wear black jeans, so I rock them with the jeans. I think, uh, 
that angle it really shows this is a nice lining move my knife here but yeah really cool um let me know what you guys think and i hope you guys like the uh the new camera setup i got a i got a uh i had a tripod i got an iphone adapter so it should look clear and stable so you don't need to be weirded out by my hands moving all right and uh here's some uh on feet shots. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Um, these are how they look on feet. I think they're in really nice. Um, the one thing I will say about these shoes, I tend to wear a. These are nudie jeans. Um, I think they're called the the sharp banked or the uh, Hank Gray. They have a tapered opening. And the one thing with Roshi's is that they, the shoe tends to come up a little too high on the shoe. I mean, on the pant. So it's a little bit hard for them to go over it completely, but they do look good. Um, I think they look really smart. Um, and I like how simple the pink is. Um, it pretty would, it would have been cool if they had these shoes with the pink normal swoosh the way they normally place them, like how they place them over here on the uh, red ones. But uh, I think they look good otherwise. I'll take these out of the way. But yeah, I really like the way they look, and uh, see how they look when you're walking. And, uh, just overall really nice. Oh, the other thing that I forgot to mention is that the one thing I dislike about the Roshis is that when you pull them off, it pulls your sock off, but they do have a really nice pink insole, and uh, it's a nice touch, but uh, Thanks for watching guys and uh, let me know what you think about everything, the uh, video, the setup, um, the shoes obviously, and if you guys were going to get them or not. Um, and if they are a quick release or a general release, because I guess they were in that chic shop, so those chic stores tend to get a lot of shoes I know out west. But yeah, let me know. Alright, take care guys. Bye bye.